What's up everybody, Vic here from the Savage Oblivion, back with some more Shadowrun Dragonfall. Last time, we had a lot of conversation here in the safe house. This time, we're probably going to have a lot of conversation outside in the Kreuzbasar. Actually, hold on. Oh, very nice. Ooh! Now that would have been fun. I can't... okay. Yep, yeah, sure, confirm, why not? <laughs> well, there was the, um, there was another campaign that I had joined Aka for, where I was playing my, uh, my half-orc barbarian, and, uh, I almost TPK'd the party the first session I joined the campaign. See, welcome back. What can I do for you? You got that drone fixed yet? I do. Just finished before you arrived. There's a complication, though. A complication? You said it was fixed. It is fixed, but the person who built this thing fixed it in a different way. This drone's got a custom AIOS stack on it. Someone wrote code that sits on the bootloader and configures the drone to only accept commands from a specific user. The thing works like a computer virus, so there's no way I can rip it out unless I got another brain from this model of drone. Shit. Yeah, you did get my attention with that, but Hogar wasn't a Hogar wasn't an evil character. Hogar, the only reason he went after the uh, the party was because he was getting paid to. He was a merc. Before you ask, yes, I looked into that. Problem is, this is a stolen corp drone. A discontinued model of a stolen corp drone. There are no parts for this thing on the market around here, so unless you know who locked this thing up so tightly, you're not going to get much more use out of it than a doorstop. Dreck. Well, I'll ask around for its owner. Thanks. I'll get to that after uh, after this video. Since I'm going to have so much conversation going on. Kami looks up from her calm, idly blowing a gum bubble and quickly popping it. Oh, again. I hear you've been pretty busy. Gossip travels fast, doesn't it? It's not gossip, it's work. Survival, really. What makes it that you need to survive working like this? Well, you know, Haltug always says, if you do not spy, how will you know who's boss? She waves her hand as though to excuse her poor memory. Or something like that. I'm just a kid. What do I know? Hmm. Intel is important, but that should be a lesson for when you're older, don't you think? Cammy puffs up indignantly, and you realize how young she must really be. She couldn't be out of her teens yet. And what does that mean? If you're really gathering intel, you need some street smarts. You're still wet behind the ears. You'd be surprised what I know, but you don't seem like the perceptive type, so that's to be expected. She practically hisses her response, her eyes suddenly narrowed and venomous. Well, eh, well. She looks down and exhales, then the clouds leave her bright face. Listen, I have better things to do right now than get ticked. We'll chat later, okay? Eh, well, I fucked up that conversation. Oh, well. Altug, what do you got for me? Anything? I'll bet, yep, that's Luca Dwyer. 
The Turk flashes his wry smile and winks at you knowingly. I am told that you've been quite busy of late, O oh Wanderer of the Shadows. My street rats tell me that business is picking up. Is that the man who's taken over for Monica Burgazi? Who does it look like, your rotundity? The Pope from the Vatican? Give him a soy calf, a big one, and put it on my account. I like the cut of his jib. A large soy calf? My, aren't you the generous one, Goldschmidt? Are you sure you can afford such a gesture? Fat man frowns. And a scone, I was going to say. And a scone as well. Nothing is too good for him. Uh, basically, I like the cut of his jib. Basically means I like this guy. He's he's a stand-up guy. That's basically all it means. I don't know what an actual jib is, but... As you desire, O oh ample one. The Turk whispers. The man is a moron, but he eats his white and baklava and pastries, so who am I to care? Now, what is it you would like? Hmm, nothing new. Just killing time. I'll be going now. Let's see what Luca has here. So, here Victor, eh? The late Monica Schaefer's replacement? He looks you up and down and then nods. Good. You look the part. You might be right, Crossio. Let me get right to business. My organization would like to retain your services for the indefinite future. But first, we're asking you go on a trial run. An audition of sorts. To prove that you're the right man for the job. Assuming that you complete this trial to our satisfaction, I will then offer you a variety of simple tasks. All of these should be achievable in the course of your everyday business. You won't need to go out of your way or expose yourself to too much unnecessary risk. For each task that you complete, you will be rewarded handsomely, and there will be a bonus if you finish them all. So, have I piqued your interest? Will you accept our offer? Uh... As far as I know, I did when it, uh, as far as I know, it patched up to latest when it installed. Who do you work for, and how did you know where to find me? My organization knows everything worth knowing in Germany, including the small pond that is Berlin. It is in our best interests, however, to remain unknown to the world at large. For the time being, that is all you need to know. Alright, so what does this audition pay? I can offer you 1500 New Yen, but only if you complete the full audition, the run and post-run interview, to our satisfaction. If you fail to perform up to our expectations, you will receive no pay and no further offers of work. That isn't much. It's an audition. The purpose of this trial is for you to prove your worth to us, not the other way around. Of course, you're free to decline if you wish, but know that there are hundreds of runners in Berlin who would kill for the opportunity to work for us. We came to you because we think we, that we see a glimmer of potential. If you prove us wrong, we will happily take our offer elsewhere. Eh. Sure, I'm in. Good. <laughs> Very good. Now, on to the task at hand. There is a man named Alshire. He is a senior manager at Hermes Eurocom and a respected figure in his community. My organization also suspects him of, of working with pro-corporate extremists. These people are actively working to undermine the flux state and pave the way for a corporate-controlled Berlin. My organizer has no more desire to see Berlin fall to the corporations than you do. However, we are hesitant to act on our suspicions without proof. This is where you come in. Keep talking. You will meet with a team that I've arranged for you. Oh, really? And with their assistance, you will plant surveillance devices in his apartment. Take the U-Bahn to Frankfurter Tor and go alone. 
The rest of your team will meet you there. Hmm. Alarm bells are going off in my head for no particular reason. Hang on a second. I already have a team. Yes, you do, but they are unsuitable for this job. Remember, this is a test of your abilities, not Iger's or Glory's or Dietrich's. How do you know their names? The same way that I knew yours. You will complete this trial with the team that I have assembled or not at all. It's important for us to know that you're well willing to work within these limitations. So, will you work within the boundaries that I've described, or will you turn down an opportunity that your fellow runners would kill for? Hmm. I thought I had a coin around here. It appears I was wrong. Fuck the dumb shit. I'll work with your team. Why not? Very good. The moment that you board the train to Frankfurt or Tor, your test will begin. I would advise you to bring what you need in terms of medical supplies and ordnance. Once you embark on your trial run, there will be no turning back. After you have planted the devices and verified that they work, come back to me. There will be a brief interview, a post-mortem on the run if you like, and assuming that I am satisfied with what I hear, I will pay you your first stipend. Then we will discuss our future options. Best of luck, Victos. We will be watching. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Well, before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to end up playing this game for so fucking long tonight. I am highly, highly intrigued. Can't talk to him. Let's go ahead and talk to... Check out the magic shop. Talk to Absinthe. Talk to Absinthe. Absinthe turns to face you. She takes care to avoid looking you in the eye. Victos, a pleasure as always. What can I do for you? Your third eye slides open and you find yourself staring at nothing. Where the elf's aura should be, a hazy gray smear undulates instead. Absinthe's voice slides into your ears like a living thing. You won't catch sight of me that way, human. My true self is hidden, tucked away behind a veil of time and ether. Be thankful. You wouldn't like what you'd see. Third eye slides shut again. Yeah, okay. Yep, I need to go talk to the other guy. Thought I'd try it, see if anything different would happen. Hello again. May I help you? If you're selling, I'm buying. Show me your inventory. Power Bolt 3. Oh my. Acid Bolt 3. Adept's Combat Vest, Occult Robes, hmm, Urban Mage Cloak, Ooh, we're starting to get some interesting stuff now. Bah! 
I'm a mage. I don't need weapons. What's up, drunkard? How you doing? Blindness. Strip armor. Already got mind wipe. This is all down in the ones. That's shamans. Alright, first. I need new armor. Let's see. I think I'm going to go with the occult robes. At plus one willpower and spell casting. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. So yeah, I'll buy the occult robes. Is there a stun bolt three? Or wait, which... Hold on. Let me buy my armor first and equip it. Wham! I like the look of them. Alright. Yep. Uh, view stash, sell items. Sell that. Now, I could probably sell these. I'm not going to be using the chems. Yes, he does. And that makes me happy. I'm, well... I'll leave those in the stash for now. I'll just sell that armor. Okay, yeah. Power bolt three. Come on, give me the. There we go. Uh, I can't. Oh, that's a conjurer. Okay, yeah, that's why. Ball lightning. Hmm. Looks like I do need to level up some intelligence. Alright. Let me go ahead and do that. Uh. How does unequip? Oh, there we go. There we go. I figured it out. Confirm that. Yes, yes, it does. Okay, yeah, that's what I was wondering. So I'll just get rid of these, get rid of the power bolt one, sell. Uh, let's see. All right, first. I think the ones I was looking at all wanted intelligence. Let me just verify that. Intelligence four, intelligence three. Intelligence three, intelligence three. Yep, 
Yep. Gotta level up some intelligence. intelligence for so I'm not gonna have that just yet but yep grab me some ball lightning have me a better flamethrower confirm that I can probably sell off flamethrower one. Confirm that. Let's see. Can I afford any more nice things? Distraction, meh. I get mana bolt too. Oh yes, Kurosu. That's exactly what I plan to do. You know what? Yep. Why not? Let's have some fun. Alright, so I've got Ball Lightning, Flamethrower 3, Power Bolt 3, um, Mana Bolt's probably the next one I'll upgrade. If I unequip that pistol, could I put another spell there? Well, it's probably not a big deal. It doesn't matter. We're good. We're good. We're out. Let's go ahead and save the game in case of fuckery. Oh, I can? Excellent. All right. Hold on. I had been wondering about that for a while, actually. Because I was like, I'm never going to use this fucking pistol. Ever. It's just not going to happen. Get the fuck out. I can't afford any other spells, really. Well... That's just lightning bolt one. I could get mana ball one. That two armor piercing is pretty nice. And it's an AoE too. I like AoE. Yep. Oh. Oh well. Doesn't matter. I have enough of a magic arsenal for now. Let's see. This guy's new. I don't remember him being here. Hey, hey buddy. S sorry to bother you, but I, I could use some help over here. You want to make a little extra scratch? It shouldn't take long. Sure. What's the problem? Well, me and my buddy Victor got called in from the next keys over. S something's wrong with the sewers around here. 
Your local plumbers and mechanics are all useless. Vic and I talked to them, tried to get them to give us the maintenance schedule for your sewer pumps. They just scratched their heads at us and said that the machinery down there just took care of itself. My best guess is that your pumps have shut down. Happens from time to time without proper maintenance. When the pumps shut down, the waste started piling up, and it's causing some pretty major overflow problems downstream. So what the hell do you want me to do about it? I'm not a fucking mechanic. Well, Victor went down into the sewers while I was getting stuff out of the truck. When I came back, I was about to climb down there, but I heard these awful screams. They went on and on, and then they just stopped. I froze up, nearly shit myself to be honest. I don't know what to do, but I can't go down there. Not after that. The problem is probably something basic, a clog that needs to be cleared, something like that. Restarting the pump should take care of it. But no goddamn way am I going in there. If you'll do the job for me, I'll give you the new and we were paid for it. I don't need it, you can have it all. I can live without the money, but someone's got to fix those pumps before I can leave. How many million are we talking about here? 500. For a job this quick, it's good money. Eh, fine, I'll do it. You're a lifesaver, chummer. If you find Victor, well, if he's still alive down there, tell him I'm sorry. Sewer level, yay! Enter the sewers, assemble the team. I'm probably not going to need a decker in the sewers, so... We're going to go straight damage potential here. At least I don't see why we'd need one. ghostly labyrinth of tunnels and dead-end passageways makes up the network of sewers beneath the Croix's Bazaar. You climb down the ladder into this shallow underworld and reel at the wave of foul smells that washes over you, clogging your sinuses and saturating your clothing. As your eyes adjust to the light, you find yourself standing at the edge of a narrow channel of murky gray-green water. The rush of churning water echoes down the tunnel. You catch a flash of motion in your peripheral vision. Something man-sized, moving fast, flitting across the far end of the tunnel. You strain your eyes to see it, but to no avail. The thing, whatever it is, is gone. Well... And then to do anything, you need a decker. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'd be so pissed. Like, motherfucker, this is supposed to be mechanical problems. Pump status consoles. I'm not going to mess with those yet. I want to reveal the area around here first. I'll bet that's Victor. This corpse has been eviscerated, its limbs torn clean off, and its ribcage is oddly deformed. The tattered shreds of a blue maintenance uniform hang loosely off its chest. Well, you gotta search the body. You find a well-worn manual entitled Wartung Shandbuk, Ausgabe 2042. The book is filled with depictions of turbine and pump cross sections, tools, and descriptions of maintenance procedures. How oh, convenient. A few of the pages have been bookmarked with colorful bits of paper. Let's see the yellow one. 
page is dominated by a detailed illustration of a turbine cross-section. Scrawled in the margin is a number, 822-896. Alright, flip to the green. There are some notes written in the margins of this page, but you don't recognize the language. The only word you can make out is computer, written several times. Ah, fuck my life. <laughs> Snuggle monster, yeah. I'm sure it is. Just wants to give huggles. Well, let's explore before we start fucking with things. Oh! Found some shit! Houston, we got a problem. Alright. First of all, let's go ahead and Oh, come on, Iger. Yeah, thanks. Go ahead and haste Glory. Glory, it's time for you to start whooping things asses. Ow. Infection. Well, that doesn't sound good. We're gonna back off. And I fucked up by hasting Glory again. I forgot about the adrenal pump. Fuck. Eat that motherfucker. Dragon Slayer's favor. No, 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 no. I don't need any of that just yet. Now, Dietrich. <sighs> Do they? Let's find out. Nope. Still only three. Or no, that cost one, so yeah. We'll just keep beating the piss out of this. It's only hitting two. Iger, that was so disappointing. Dietrich, help, help Iger not suck. Iger has 2 AP. 
That's 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 what I want to know, Kurosu. That's that. Yeah. Uh, that one is going to probably die from ongoing, so we're going to head over here. Actually, what the hell am I thinking? Pop this fucker. Have some fire. No, oh, 36. God damn. Fuck the fucking zombies. <coughs> Let's check this door since it's unlocked. Prizes! Ah, it's another chem. Shit. That helps me not at all. Alright, let's check the op. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I saw stuff. Monies! Restart pump one. South turbine water flow failed. Alright. Pump is deactivating. Blockage detected. Clearing obstruction. Water flow insufficient. Alright, so I gotta go use those other two consoles first. Makes sense. No, get over here. That's right. Run. Oh! More stuff. I want it. These metahuman bones have been picked clean. Hmm. That's not reassuring. Was there anything in this room? I didn't check. Pile of gunk. Corpse mangled beyond recognition. Oh, goody. Turbine controls. Activate turbine. Uh, what was that number again? Eight two two eight nine six. Activate the turbine. Words to life. Oh my god, there's more. color me completely unsurprised. Alright, we are going to step back here. And burn the fuck out of you. Dietrich, aim on glory. And on Tiger. Glory, activate the adrenal pump. Again. You know what? You just you just stay up there and tank this shit. You you have you have aggravated me. Uh, 
Dietrich, go ahead and electro core right there. More of them, yay! Let's try this mana ball. I like it. Pop him. <laughs> Let's see how useless this is. Aim throw. <laughs> All right, that takes care of that. I think that was all the side rooms to explore, so let's go take a look at these other consoles here. Access pump status. Pump one is stopped. South turbine water flow passed. Pump test running passed. Access the operations. Central computer system. Okay. This one gonna tell me the same thing. Pump test running failed. Clog cannot be resolved until the pump systems have been shut down and then restarted. All right. So let's head up here and see if we can do that. Pump one operational. Pump two. Pump is deactivating, blockage detected, clearing obstruction done, sweet. New objective, leave the sewers. Well, a shambling mound of ragged flesh stumbles toward you. There's a look of desperation in its eyes. Please, don't shoot. The ghoul's breath reeks of rotting meat. We're not like the others. Hmm. Well, it's not immediately attacking me. Relax. Not gonna hurt you. The ghoul's voice comes out in a rasping sob. Thank you, stranger. Considering my condition, I had all but given up hope. Who are you? I speak for the Kreuzbassar's ghoul population. The Krieger strain may have ravaged my body. It feebly paws at the gray pustulant flesh that hangs from its bones. But I've retained my mind. Keep talking. We've lived down here, under the Kreuzbassar, for years. For all that time, this place has provided refuge from the world above. We traded our labor for sustenance, both for ourselves and for our feral brothers, and we survived. But now, our food supply has been interrupted, and the feral ones have gone mad with hunger. They're a danger to everyone, everybody, even us. You worked for food. Who was feeding you? The doctor. A topsider from your Koi's Bazaar. He kept us fed. The contract guaranteed it. Under the terms of our deal, we maintained the pumps that kept the Koi's Bazaar sewage flowing. In return, 
The doctor gave us medical waste to eat. With proper rationing, we found that we could get by on what he gave us. The Decker monitored, monitored both sides to ensure our mutual cooperation. Ah, but with her death, the doctor has reneged on the deal. Without the food guaranteed by the contract, the Feral Ones have gone mad. And in their madness, they have made it too dangerous for us to maintain the pumps. Was this Decker named Monica by any chance? That's a stupid fucking question. You were the reason why the sewer system took care of itself. Yes. In truth, we would still work on the pumps. Even without the doctor's payments. We love our occupation. It helps us to feel human. But the changes wrought by the Krieger strain require us to eat human flesh. If we don't, we wither and die. <laughs> Without regular feedings, we will have no choice but to hunt for our food. I have to ask the stupid question, apparently. Was this Decker named Monica? Monica by any chance? It nods. Yes. Yes, that was her name. I think that I have a solution to your problem. It's milky eyes wide. And yes, please, whatever you can do. Our situation is desperate. Well, there's only one doctor in the Croix Bazaar. I've never met the guy, but I'm gonna have a word with him all the same. The ghoul nods. Yes. Yes, perhaps you can convince him where we could not. We have a comlink provided to us by the Decker. It is a direct line to Ezkabel's office. If you call him, he will answer. Alright. Yeah, that was actually unintentional, uh, but it just, I, I don't know, just the raspy voice had to be done for that. You pick up the comlink receiver. It's a custom job, cobbled together from a jumble of high-end parts. Reminds you of your mission computer. Monica's handiwork. There's a series of staccato clicks as the connection is made. Dr. Ezkabel's voice pours into your ear. It's thick with a blend of irritation, mm, excuse me, and insolence. Mm, got a little bit of the hiccups. If you're calling me to beg again, you might as well hand, hang up now. I've been bled by you people for too long now. There are plenty of chop shops and organ leggers out there who would pay good money for... Oh, shut up. There's a brief pause. Who the hell is this? Victos. Victos? Ezkabel tries to hide the surprise in his voice. He doesn't do a very good job. What a pleasant surprise. I was wondering when I'd have the good fortune to meet you. If you don't mind me asking, what are you doing on this line? I've just had a very interesting conversation with some of your long-term customers. I don't know what those things have told you, Victos, but they are not customers. They've never paid me a thing for my services, and... Cut the shit, Doc. We both know what they've been doing for the Croix Bazaar. Yes, for the Croix Bazaar, not for me. Why should I continue to give them valuable material for free when... I'll make this easy for you. If you don't feed these ghouls, I'm gonna feed you to them. Ezkabel's voice goes ice cold. It's never a good idea to threaten your doctor, Victos. You never know what might happen the next time you're lying on the operating table. <laughs> if anything happened to me on your table, the rest of my team would come looking for you. 
<laughs> exactly. Listen, you whiny cunt. Shut up. <laughs> ah, yes, there, there is that. Mm-hmm. Thought so, bitch. There's a long pause. Finally, you hear a sigh. When Escabel speaks again, his voice is heavy with resignation. Tell your friends that I've changed my mind. Their feedings will resume directly at no additional cost. There's a click as he disconnects the line. Well, that, that worked. Every once in a while, you just gotta be a dick. You're back. I've spoken with Ezkabel. You can expect your regularly scheduled feedings to start up again any day now. <laughs> like a boss! Thank you so much, Topsider. That means more to us than you can know. Yeah, I, I agree, Kurosu. There should have been an option to just be like, Look, I'm about to come up there and just fuck you up. But I kind of like the poetic, the poetic idea of feeding him to the people he's fucking over. Gained another karma for that. Which I think I can increase my intelligence again. Da 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 da! And then we can save the game. And leave the sewers. <laughs> not all smooth skins are bad. Of course not. That's why I always let them into Tenpenny Tower. Hey, you know what? They're doing they're doing good things. They're doing they're doing a service for the city. Oh, I forgot about the ghoul mask actually. It's been a long time since I actually played through Fallout 3. The fresh air of the Croix Bazaar is a welcome relief after your time in the sewers. A cool breeze drifts across the street carrying with it the smells of food being prepared, cheap alcohol being poured, and fires being lit against the cold. The stench of the sewers, however, still lingers in your nose, a bad olfactory aftertaste. At least the pumps are working again. Sewage overflowing into the streets would certainly smell far worse. More karma, yay! Drek, finally. I was worried that you wouldn't come back either. So tell me, what happened? Everything go okay? It's taken care of. You can leave. After you give me my money. What about Victor? Your friend isn't coming. I'm sorry. Poor Vic. I don't know how I'm going to tell his folks. Real close-knit family they were. I found this on his body. Maybe you could give it to them. Hey, thanks. They'll... He turns the manual over in his hands and rubs his thumb over the careworn paper cover. They'll appreciate it. Here's the money I promised you. All right. More karma! Yay! Gunari Metbach, he had something for me. Welcome back. You need some weapons, some ammunition perhaps? I got your message about that missing shipment. How can I help? He nods. Aye. A gang from a nearby Keys has been hijacking shipments bound for the Croix Bazaar, taking money out of our pockets. I could use your help to stop this from happening. Your dear departed Monica used to provide encryption and information control for the Croix Bazaar. Now that she's gone, we merchants have been having no end of trouble. The obvious answer is that a gang has been intercepting our communications. What kind of communications? 
Shipping manifests, payment orders, that kind of thing. A group with an agenda could use that information to set an ambush. And that's just what this gang has been doing. Several cargo trucks full of goods have already been hijacked en route to the cruise bazaar. I had a tracking device placed on the last shipment I sent out. Containers full of weapons and medical supplies. Sure enough, it got taken. And I've tracked it to the Gesundbrunnen. If you've never been there, it's a keys built out of an old U-Bahn station and some old bunkers. Rumor has it a new gang called the Rabengeister is holed up there. I suspect the two things are related. So I need you to go to Gesundbrunnen, find this Rabengeister and get our goods back. I can offer you 500 million for the task. And if you can recover our missing sh weapons shipment, I'll be able to sell you some better hardware too. <laughs> you and your fucking rope. You always need rope. <clears throat> nah, I fucked up on that one. Voice is getting a little worn out now. Can you tell me anything else about this gang? The Robin, the Ribengeister. He frowns. Not much, I'm afraid. From what I've heard, the Ribengeister are tricky. They have a reputation for stirring up trouble, then disappearing without a trace. I would tread carefully in Gesundbrunnen if I were you. How do I get to Gesundbrunnen? The U-Bahn? Just take the U-Bahn. The line still runs, though not many folks stop at Gesundbrunnen anymore. The market there used to be something of a tourist attraction, but I think they've fallen on hard times recently. I'll take care of it. Good. It's about time I had some new inventory come in. And one more thing, Victos. I'm gonna need you to go in light on this one. Take a friend along if you like, but no more than one. If you spook them, they could trash the merchandise. Best go quiet. Best go soon, too, before the trail goes cold. Yeah, this is in Germany. I just, I saw the eye at the beginning of the conversation. I was like, yep. That's, that, that calls for something in my mind. Alright. Quick lap to make sure there's nothing else that people have for me. And... Nope. Nope. Nothing. So, over here is a dead end. Over here is the BTL junkie. Simi Kim waves an awkward dance through scattered refuse. Her two thin legs wobble, but she keeps her footing throughout. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Oh, we could all use a little sun down here. It's not literal sun, silly. It means tomorrow will be a better day. Monica used to say something like that. When I was tired, when I was sad, when I only wanted to sleep, she would tell me that. She told me I would forget. That the pain would go away. I've lived many lives, but I've been an orphan more times than anything. It was the first story I found when I needed to get away. Anybody ever try to get you off the Sims? But I need them. Monica understood that, and, and Zach says they're safe. I don't know what I'd do without them. Without them, I, I dream, and I don't want to dream. I don't want to remember. They help me forget. They, they help me be strong and smart. And I never lose anyone. That makes it a good thing, right?
Hmm. Better to be strong and smart in the real world. I, I wish I could be. So, do you like it here in the Croix's Bazaar? Kim turns her head so as not to look you in the eyes. Her posture is that of someone who fears the possible repercussions of her answer. It, it's... it's good. I can get what I need from Zack Flash or Doc Ezkabel, and they let me pay however I can. Monica was always nice, and, and Paul Amsel, and... And the angel is nice to me too, usually. I know, I know Monica's gone now, but I, I can still stay, right? Yeah, of, of course you can stay, Kim. Thank you, thank you. I, I don't know what else I would do. Let's talk more another time. All right. Hmm. See if there's anything new at this phone booth. I highly doubt it. Oh, right. I have to deliver the donor list. Yay. The machine accepts the data upload, and only a few moments later, a certified cred stick is spat out the coin slot. The phone's old LCD readout displays the text Freedom, Equality, Information, Shockwell and Raita. Excellent. Mo money, mo money. Have I? Wait, the wine killer? I've been in here, right? Yeah, okay, this, yeah. That's where that bitch was. Let's take a look around first. Payment in a good tune. <laughs> Sing for your supper, damn it. Lucky Strike raises an eyebrow at your approach. A burning cigarette dangles between the fingers of her right hand, and she holds a glass of scotch in her left. Fictos, fancy seeing you again. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. I live here, and I like a drink as much as the next guy. Of course you do. She raises her glass in salute. Now, was there something you wanted to talk about? You know anything about an organization called The Lodge? Dwyer's group, you mean? She tips her glass back and swallows. Sure. I've done a few jobs for them. They pay well. The whole ominous secret organization thing they try to keep going is a little weird, but whatever. Money is money, and they've got it. What can you tell me about Dwer? Best that I can tell, he's just a middle-rung toady, like any other corporate suit you deal with before a run. Only difference is that his organization isn't a corp. I think he's a little fresh-faced for what the Lodge has him doing. In the beginning, there was some credibility issues. I had a hard time taking the guy seriously. But then he started waving wads of Nuyen around, and that all cleared up in a flash. Afraid that I can't help you dig any deeper. He's an occasional client. She takes a sip of her scotch and chases it with a long drag on her cigarette. Even if I knew more, knew more about Dwyer, I wouldn't tell you. Shadow runners who kiss and tell have a funny way of dying young. Been finding much work recently? Yeah, but the Croix Bazaar isn't the best place to do it. There aren't a ton of jobs out here if you don't have a network. You don't have people in the Croix Bazaar? Nope, my crew is in Mitte. There's lots of work out there if you can handle it, but life isn't as pleasant as it, as it is in the Croix Bazaar. She gestures with her cigarette, the tip glowing red in the gloom. I mostly visit your lovely little keys between runs to restock and relax. It's a good place for that. 
Nice and slow play. So low paced. It's... She pauses a moment to search for a word. Quaint. Hmm. 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 No. It's a nice enough place, but I don't know if that's the word I'd use. No? Well, I would. Compared to most of Berlin, the Kreuzbassar is about as quaint as it gets. Hell, it's verging on bucolic with all the hand-holding in the rooftop gardens. You found yourself a lovely, picturesque little corner of Berlin, Victos. Guess I have to give your old boss some credit for that. So, is the bartender here any good? Nope. It's called Der Weinkeller for a reason. The guy behind the bar is more like a bush league some of the air than he is a proper bartender. Knows a bit about wine, but when it comes to mixing drinks, he's useless. If you want a drink, I'd recommend sticking to something simple. Try ordering something with more than two ingredients and you're asking for trouble. So are you a wine drinker then? Me? No. Never developed a taste for it. She tilts her glass, swirling the amber liquid inside. Not a big fan of sweet things. Never have been. Not even when I was a kid. I've always preferred smoke. If you don't like wine, why hang out in a wine bar? Because it's usually empty in here and I don't like to be bothered. And as hopeless as the bartender is, it's tough to mess up scotch if you order it neat. Now, do you have another question, or... Yeah, I gotta run. Yeah, see ya. I'm not asking her to join my team. Fuck her. Talked way too much shit the first time I ran into her. And that completes our lap of the Kreuzbassar. I'm going to go ahead and break the video here because I need to rest my throat for a minute. What do you mean, nope? Oh yeah, these... oh. Yep. Alexi Lane leans on his crutch while staring into the Berlin sky. Nothing moves above but gray clouds. His faraway look is only broken when you, when you approach. Something I can do for you? I'm just checking in. I appreciate the effort you're making. But you've got some big shoes to fill around here. Monica was important to this place. You have no idea, but I imagine you soon will. Nothing stays secret for long in the F state. The flux demands transparency. The truth will always get out. And the truth about Monica's death is now on the breeze, flowing through the streets of Berlin. Next come visitors of uncertain intent. Some may just be bottom feeders, sniffing after the leavings of the dead. Others will be hunters, looking to exploit a leaderless tribe. I'm in charge here, and I'll see that the rest of Berlin knows it. The old troll snorts, but can't stifle a grin at your bravado. <laughs> you do that. Even bluff and bluster can dissu dissuade a weak-willed opponent. There are trying times ahead. Seen it before. Too many times before. Anything else you need? I wanted to hear more about the war. Lane grumbles and massages phantom penis in his synthetic legs. Damn it, why won't the world just let an old soldier fade away like MacArthur promised? You were military? Where'd you serve? Back home, with the Finnish Defense Force, Jaeger Brigade. <laughs> Jaeger bombs! Lane clenches and unclenches a fist, either out of repressed anger or more phantom pain. His weathered face betrays nothing. The Russians thought to come at us from the north as well as the west, through the Lapland, thinking us weaker there. They thought wrong, and the snow was painted pink on both sides of the border. Tell me more about the Euro Wars. Doubt there's much I could tell you that you wouldn't have learned in school. That you should have learned in school. Russia isn't invaded. Hell, if I can remember why. World was more a mess back then than it, 
than it is today, if you ask me. They attacked Poland and Finland first. Poland broke within months, opening the door into Germany. I had no contacts in Berlin back then, mind you. Can't really say how bad things were here. Had battles of my own to worry about. Sorry, I won't bother you any more about it. Thank you. Anything else then? Nothing. I'll be going. And Beckenbauer. Hello again, mein Freund. What can I do for you? Like to talk about your organization? He nods. Yes, of course. Please, go on. Uh, how much money do I have? Eh, not a whole lot. Are you accepting donations? Of course, mein Freund. Your last donation put us part of the way toward purchasing the blankets and stapled foods that the people of the Khoi's Bazaar so desperately need. As of your last donation, we have 100 million saved towards our 250 million goal. Whatever more you can contribute would be greatly appreciated. Hmm. 150. You know what? I can spare that. A fine donation. This will do a great deal of good. Thank you. You're welcome. My pockets are a little deeper than I thought. Here's another 50. Thank you, my friend. Da -da -da -da. With this donation, we have reached our first goal. Thank you for so much for your kind assistance. I will put your contribution to work, stocking the shelter with blankets and heaters. Not a problem. Please, do not downplay your contribution. You have shown kindness at a time when few others will. That means something. It means a great deal. Let's talk about something else. How is Alexander doing? He is adjusting this difficulty. Samuel shakes his head. Your friend Dietrich took a chance in sending his nephew to us. I will do my best to justify his face in me. No questions, just passing by. That completes our tour of the Croix Bazaar. And with that, we have eight more karma. Karma, karma, karma spending. I'll bet you thought I was going to do a reference there. Haha, -ha, fool you! Uh, I don't need to worry about intelligence anymore just yet. Increase the spell casting. Show me ley lines everywhere. Oh, did they? I can't really do anything with them yet. Arrow on the main screen. Oh, right, right. Yep, I forgot about that. Thank you. Let's see. I went sniper specialist last time. Frag grenade, boost, or flashbang grenade. Hmm. Let's use the flashbang. That uh, making it easier to hit enemies. I like that. Earth elemental or fire elemental? Hmm. You know, we've got plenty of fire going around. I think we need we need some earth up in here. Uh glory will get I've got my heal spells, so I mean the medical specialist maybe isn't that big a deal.
I do like the idea of the upgraded trauma kit. Just in case shit hits the fan. Eh. Actually, no. Take the med kit. SMG upgrade. Or augmented vision. Thinking, I'm thinking the SMG upgrade. That's six percent. That's not. That doesn't seem like it would be that. Yeah, I'm going damage. I can use Dietrich to cast aim on him. That'll, yeah, that's good enough. Yep. That'll do it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save the game again. We hope they're going to suck less. Hope. Because hope springs eternal, or some shit. And I am going to break the video there. When we come back next time, we've got some stuff we need to do. And we will do that in the next video. Peace. You know... Karosu just, no, no, don't, we don't speak of this.